Okay, Sonia. So you're going to the topic. Yeah. Okay. So Sonia, your topic is very simple topic. What is that one most memorable moment of your life? What is the most memorable moment of your life, Toastmaster Sonia? You have 30 seconds to think. A minimum of one minute you need to talk and a maximum of two minutes. Over to you. You're on mute. Sonia, you're speaking, but you're on mute. Yeah. Thank you so much, TM Mekana, for giving me this wonderful topic. Actually, uh, one memory which I would like to share with the, everyone is that so that time the background and humanities and uh, on uh, it was saturday when it was announced that we are going to compete and on monday we were having the competition we had only sunday with us and i was hosteler i was residing in hostel it was army institute of higher education and we all were army brats only there throughout the sunday and saturday i was helping my <laughs> my friends in making their models by giving them ideas and when it was night after the dinner we came from mess everyone was like mess where we were eating the food so when we came from there so all were very happy that wow sonia you helped us a lot we have made very beautiful models but they were equally worried that when will i start my my preparation of model so uh, because at night i was very much tired by is competition i have to do some event and i was alone who was making the project came i was starting the preparation of the uh, model uh, whatever material i had with me because i haven't purchased anything for There's some network issue probably Sonia is facing. So I think so Sonia got disconnected or something because I see her totally, you know, stopped. But it was really nice, Sonia. I got a gist of it, but we couldn't hear everything, to be very honest, if you're listening. That uh, she was very excited about the science model that she was preparing for her friends and she was yet to prepare for herself and she didn't have the things with her. Okay, uh, so let's continue, okay? Uh, like Sonia said, and I really appreciate Sonia to take that initiative and come up and talk, okay? That's the first thing. You're already there, like Sonia. did you know you should be ready to fail you know the biggest success is achieved you know okay or fastest achieved when you fail several times multiple times and the faster you fail the faster you succeed that's the mantra trust me and toastmaster brahma kumar said so said that yes i happened to reach the stick but you know how naive i was when i happened to reach the stick because i started up uh, telling so my my mentor was very excited so i really advise you to have a mentor okay trust me today whatever i am it's because of my mentors not just one mentor but multiple mentors because toastmaster you have very knowledgeable people okay very knowledgeable people and everybody is a giver everybody is a giver you just have to ask for it and it is rightly said 
you know you will be given what you ask for and i have been given because i have asked for it okay and my mentor walked into my life and said megna we have one and a half month of time and you have to give eight speeches then i started laughing because i had not even begin i i wasn't i am a toastmaster since 2016 but i had not started off with pathways i had i had discontinued and rejoined then and it was a big thing for me to complete eight speeches in one i started laughing at my mentor that it's not possible then he said anything is possible if you put mind and heart to it and we began the journey and seamlessly uh, every speech i improved myself every effort i took to develop and the journey began and i it doesn't mean that i didn't fail i was i was also uh, feeling discomfort i was also feeling challenged but what really mattered is that i i wanted to do it i wanted to achieve it and in my very first attempt i reached the district finale and won third place in table topics so that was an incredible journey for me but that was only possible because i met brahma kumar sir navin sir i got into table topics friday you know and uh, uh, i cannot forget ajay sir here because he was the one to introduce me to navin sir and brahma kumar sir and this entire team so guys you just at the right place just at the right place and you have amazing set of audience uh, you know and people who will not judge you at all irrespective of what it is and you know who will support you you and help you in each and every step that you're going to take okay trust me on that because i have been blessed by these people and guided by these people and i am today uh, what i am today and this confidence that you see is because of these people i can say so you similarly can become the same but what is really important to come up like sonia did and speak here in in front of such loud audience and for people who think that fear i have fear i have uh, stage fear they say the biggest fear on, in this entire earth is not uh, the fear of death okay but it's stage fear and now if i i i want to ask you one question to everyone give me an answer by raising your hands and muting anything is fine who wants to go to heaven anybody wants to go go to heaven here tell me yes no maybe what is it kalpita sonia i want i i, I, I want, want to go to heaven i i want to live <laughs> in heaven but i don't want to die i want to live on exactly. earth exactly yeah very good i want so, my life absolutely absolutely everyone wants to go to heaven but nobody wants to die it's as simple as that you want to become the best speakers the best orators of this earth but are you willing to give what it takes that is to practice okay this is the mantra guys practice 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 until you become perfect it doesn't come in one day if you think i'll gain confidence if you think that uh, you know you will become the best speakers or orators that you see on toastmasters as world's uh, public speaking champions they have become what they are because they gave in what it takes so are you willing to pay the price to achieve the goal that you want to right so that is very important so from today write a goal for yourself nothing happens without you know articulating i truly believe in the law of attraction okay i truly believe this and i practice this so if you really put your mind and soul to one particular goal and you know i have a strong gut feeling that yes i will invest weekly at least one hour of time for my personal growth see we all do jobs we all have families to take care of we all do household chores but what is really important to give that one particular hour to improve ourselves our communication skills our knowledge base anything for that matter so i would request you write down a goal set a goal for yourself okay and if you are standing by the goal by the end of one month you will be a different person trust me one hour one week is what i'm asking from you guys so this is the table topic friday session we have navin sir bama kumar sir me varun and multiple other people who will help you but are you willing to invest this particular one hour coming to the session and transforming yourself coming on to the stage and you know don't feel as it is hesitant or an insult you are practicing so even a diamond to get a fine shine and finish has to be polished and has to undergo many cuts and what you are going to get here is that fine finish and cuts wherever you are falling short we are here to give you evaluate you give you feedbacks and make you better but are you willing to become that fine polished diamond so 
Pragya, many other people who are district champions have emerged out of this particular platform and stage. And because of mentors like Naveen sir, Varun, Brahma Kumar sir and others. Right? So you are getting that platform and I tell you, this is a thankless job. Nobody is paying Naveen sir, Brahma Kumar sir, Varun or anybody else to teach you these things. Right? They are all helping because they once received this particular thing that is knowledge which is priceless from someone else and they're willing to you know, dedicate the time, effort to make you better individuals. So we should make the most of it, guys. So are you giving a commitment to me that I am ready to invest one week, one hour for my own growth? Trust me, this fear will run away. This fear will run away from you. And the moment you get a stage, ah, give me the mic. I am the one to go up and talk. I am the one to initiate. I am the one to volunteer. Right? And look at the smile on your face. The moment Sonia spoke with that smile, I felt, how can she even be afraid of something? You know, carry this beautiful smile across, right? Wherever you go, spread smiles. So you think, I'm not nervous. When Brahma Kumar said, the sir said, asked, address, so make you have to talk to them for seven minutes. Even I get scared. There are butterflies in my stomach also. But what I really feel good about is, you know, the confidence every time I'm thrown on that stage, no. When I emerge after speaking and people come and say, Meghna, we really like you. You're so powerful. You're so charming. You speak so well. I feel very happy. So this comes out of practice. This comes out of practice. So you are going to promise me that you're going to invest one hour and I will make sure the fear runs away. And you will come and tell me, Meghna, I'm more confident than what I was. Just because there's no magic. It's only pure practice. And there's no shortcuts to success, guys. I don't believe there's shortcuts to success. It's only practice. So this is my session to you guys. Anything you want to achieve, okay? Put your mind and soul to it and you're just there. And we have beautiful mentors who will support you. So three things that you need to do to, in order to succeed. One, Invest your time in what you want to do. Second, write down your goal. And third, have a mentor. And trust me, fear or any other challenge or obstacle will be chased away from your life if you're ready to take a stand, a strong stand to change things around you. Okay? So everybody following the same thing. And I would love to see you talking, emerging victorious. And I want to see more champions emerging from this stage and you know uh, in this process of this journey of Toastmasters of competition and all I learned one particular thing I would like to share today see champion is not the one who actually wins the trophy but champion is the one who never accepts the defeat there might be failures there might be you know things that you lose and that is not the real trophy that's not a real success that award of district championship is not that something you want that award is of true accomplishment that you feel content with your performance and what you did on that day is something that is really memorable. And you living that mark and memory in the stage of the audience that you delivered the speech, no, that is important. And if you can achieve that, you are the champion boss. Okay? So I want to see that champion in you. I don't want to see trophy. You are your trophy. Your success, your confidence, your smile is a trophy. So wishing you all the best, guys. Hope I helped you. And uh, hope you guys succeed in your lives. All the best. Yeah. Thank you so much. And that was reflect on my part by Meghna. <laughs> okay. So today, actually, I thought of giving, making it very simple. Now, many people won't believe it or won't even agree. But the simpler things are the hardest things to say. So we always have topics that have six words, some long sentences, and we think, wow, that's very difficult. But let me tell you that even if I give you one word, you will find it challenging. So where does the issue lie with? It is with us. Let me just give you a simple example. I'm going to call Varun. Varun, are you able to turn on your video? What's Master Varun? Unfortunately, not a good time, Brahma Kumar ji. Okay, okay. But you can talk, Give right? Me 10 minutes, I'll be back. Okay. okay. Then make it five. How about our ET? ET, are you ready? Um, I'm not ready. I'm still in ESCO meeting here. Oh, he's in, a, he's in Indonesia in another meeting. 
Okay, then I have to call Kalpita. Kalpita? Yes, Can you turn yes, on your video? Sir. Yeah, sure. No, assuming I, I asked you to talk about something and you need to describe it to someone who may not know about it. Explain the color blue. Explain the color blue. Right. Just one word. Blue. That's your topic. Kai. Only one word I have to use, right? No, your topic Hello? is one word. Your topic is your topic is one word. Your topic is one word. But you can okay, use I more than speak one word. On this, right? You have to speak on the okay, word I have to blue. Explain the color blue. <laughs> blue. blue. Well, um, though I don't believe in gender distinguishing and all the stuff, but many people say that. The for a uh, for a man for a boy that is uh, uh, one of the favorite colors. Okay, and uh, but what I see is that when we look in the morning at uh, in the, rather the clear sky, the blue horizon, and uh, it's so huge. And you know when we open our arms and look forward to it. And feel like, like our, we have also become that we can also extend our, I mean, I mean our thoughts and our, uh, you know, beliefs. We can also expand them just like that blue horizon, blue sky. And of course, what about the water? The one which actually uh, the synonym for light, yes, that is also pure water, is also blue. And let me remind everyone, it consists of only 2.45% pure water. It's only 2.45% of the entire earth. So we are preserving of preservation of water. Pure water is managing. It's very important for all of us. So nature the sky and the beautiful blue is so serene. And at night when we go off to bed, I love to have a blue, a nice lamp, light blue light lamp, yes, shining in my room. Thank you and over to you. Over to you, Brahma, uh, Brahma Kumar, sir. Thank you, Kalpita. It was very nice of you to take the ball and run with it. Now I open Thank the floor you. to all of you to give your feedback on her speech. How did you find her speech? We, you don't have to uh, think too much. Whatever comes to your mind, how did you feel? What did you hear? What thoughts came to your mind when you listened to her speech? Okay, Sonia, over to you. Um, uh, thank you, TM. Actually, um, actually, uh, TM Kalpita has given a very good speech. Uh, what I like is uh, her content was very um, good and uh, she was able to uh, make it within the uh, proper time. And uh, no, but uh, two things I want to add uh, that could have made her uh, talk more nice like one was if she would have uh, used some of the voice modulation and um, uh, uh, no, only one thing only voice modulation otherwise everything was very nice it was on time as well as it this content was very nice like from you, know, you have involved human beings also that it is some of the uh, some genders a uh, favorite color you have involved uh, through uh, nature also daytime to evening time night time you have taken this color to water also you have taken some geographical knowledge also like our globe our earth is surrounded with water or something so you have very good knowledge so you have taken the this blue color topic very nicely thank you now if you listen to kalpita her speech at the beginning a structure she started from boys 
sky, water, nature, and then she summarized it and very nicely finished it. So if you look at it even deeper, you will know that this is actually multi-perspective. She looked from as someone who looks at the gender differences, uh, nature. So that's also a, from a natural point of view. So there were different, different perspectives. She looked at the same topic from different angles. So if we can also look at a topic from different angles, there's actually a term for it. They call it the eye of experts. Imagine you are a painter. How would you look at the color blue? Imagine you are a poet. How will you look at the color blue? So there are differences, right? Because the person is an expert in a certain area, so their perspective will be different. But this is something else you can also add to your speech. Uh, uh, anyone else ready now? Hey, hey. Kitty? Yes, sir. Hey, Kitty. Uh, just like uh, Toastmaster Kalpita, I'm also giving, giving you something to describe to others. Describe a circle to everyone. A circle. Uh, sir, I was uh, out actually. I could not hear. You were telling me something. So can I repeat? You wanted to tell me something? Oh, you missed my... What I said is that you had a structure. <laughs> You had a good start, continued and concluded. And you actually were using a technique known as eye of experts, meaning looking at something from different angles. So a poet, a painter, a naturalist, a someone looking at sociology or gender differences looks at the color blue differently. So that's how you went all out and it's quite good, right? So now we'll go to Toastmaster Kirti and your topic is a circle. Explain a circle to everyone. Okay, sir. For a circle, if I'm going to define you all, what is my understanding of a circle? So it is something which starts from a point and ends to another point. And if I want to quote my interpretation of a circle, I will tell you that it is my friend circle. Started with a one person to two and it got multiplied day after another. And we have a huge, beautiful souls and a beautiful people of 10 people circle. So circle is not only about having good people around you or having good surroundings around you. It could also be a vicious circle in your life too. Vicious circle that I want to define you as not making progress in your life. Maybe you are stuck in a point and you're not moving or taking small, small those steps to get you to the other side of the story. So this type of circle is something which is very vicious and you don't want to get trapped to. So this is what my understanding and this is what I think about a circle. Thank you. Thank you. I saw Navinji suddenly turn on his uh, microphone. So, could you give some evaluation on this? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Toastmaster Keith, you, you had addressed it really well because this, this is the key thing in, in table topic. That is, you, you, you need to take the audience to a level where, where they cannot think about. For example, uh, like, for, like for the circle, uh, you, you you had elaborated very well that that, that that is what are the things to avoid in a circle and and you related it metaphorically to a vicious circle and uh, and, and and basically what are why a vicious circle should be avoided and and, and what and what are the effects what exactly is the vicious circle so so this was uh, like like very well explained and and done up uh, just a one recommendation which I, which I would have which I may suggest is that I mean uh, try to give uh, uh, substantiate your point with some examples. It may be your, your personalized example or any example which the audience may, may relate to because that that is something which really makes the whole statement of yours more impactful. So so, so consider doing that. I mean, uh, like I know that in such a short moment, it's it sometimes it becomes challenging to to explain and and substantiate that with example, but it comes over a period of with with time. Uh, so, so just keep on participating, and I'm sure that, that, that you will get an example, and 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 then towards the end there will be a conclusion. 
uh, to substantiate the example as well as your statement. But but it was very creatively explained uh, and, and wonderful topic. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Host Fasta Varun, are you ready? Yes, sir, I am. Yours is a number. And you need to explain why this number is very important. The number is number okay. two. Number two. How many of you ever dream of coming first in every single aspect of your life? You dream of coming, becoming the first, getting the prize. But have you ever dreamed of becoming the second? Every single time in the news, whenever it says, the first man to land on the moon. Does it mean that the second person who has ever landed on the moon is not important? Or does it mean that you have only one leg and you can walk only on one leg? Two is also equally important. Without two, there is no number one. My dear fellow Toastmasters and guests, numbers are important in your life. It is not important that you have you come first or second or you be the first or second. It is important that you have someone to look up to. Why? Because you can never be the smartest man in the room or smartest woman in the room. So let me give you a small example. Until and unless I have tried and explored a different multitude of flavors combinations, I never know which one works well. But until and unless I tell it out to my head chef or to my superiors that this particular combination works well, until then, I will never know what is going to happen next. I can deep fry a potato, I can puree a potato, or I can roast a potato. But if I say that I want to make specifications of a potato, it may work, it may not work. If in a challenge, I am going to puree a potato, or a, make a specification of potato, I might end up on number two. But what matters is the experience, the experience and the learnings that you have come second. And with that passion, with that energy, and with that anger inside you, all you need to do is channel it up and take it forward. Remember, life is not a race. You are running in your own pace. Over to you, Brahma Kumarji. Oh, well done. Any comments from the others? Postmaster Meghna, do you have any comments on Varun's speech? So, unfortunately, I'm on my meeting also, business meeting on the side. So, I'm sorry, I couldn't focus much. Yeah. How about our good friend from Indonesia, E.T.? Any comments on Varun's speech? Okay. Varun, uh, that's a very great approach that you took uh, by being second doesn't mean that you are not important. And that's a very important message itself. And yes, uh, you have the, the, the story. Uh, I mean, the message that can be delivered by other people. But uh, in table topic, we... We need to access also the other aspect, like uh, you need to turn on your video so we can see your gesture. Sometimes a little gesture can make your speech or your message to be stronger. So yeah, I think I just want to I follow this matter only. Back to you, TTM Brahma. Thank you, Toastmaster ET. Uh, Varun, if I was to add on, I like the way you started with the question. And you explain that you don't have to be number one, you can be number two, and it's still okay because you're also there. You may not have the same pressure as number one, the same fame and glory. And then you went on to talk about it's all numbers and numbers are not so important, which is a different take on the thing. Now, some things you could have done is to resonate or to connect with the audience better. If you have a couple and they have only one child, just a boy or a girl, do you think they are happy? Compared to a couple who have a boy and a girl, number two is important. If you have one million and I have two million, who do you think is more richer? Definitely it's me. So like that, you can compare one and two. 
and you can also see also say in another way that it there's uh, this book i think the outliners by malcolm gladwell where he said the first child is always the the child who's like an experiment that's where that parents try all their their skills the second child is the one that is gets better benefit and the third or the final child is always the spoiled brat so it gets the number two child as a better chance in society because they are right in the center while they may not get the new clothes they have a certain advantage and you can elaborate on that that's some things you can say but generally your speech was very convincing and made us also to really look at the number 2 rather than the number 1 now i'm going to expand this number slightly longer with another number so i'm going to call et so your number is zero wait 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 let me open my camera Uh, am I audible and visible? Yes, and your number is zero. Zero. Wait, wait, wait. Let me check the time. Okay, start. <clears throat> zero, two, one. That's the hardest thing if you are an entrepreneur. Zero is the start of a journey, and one it means that you have done at least steps to be a better one in entrepreneurship. There are a lot of things you can do to get from this part. Zero, zero point one, zero point two, zero point three, zero point four. 0.5 up to 0.9 and then you will get to the this one the very first version of yourself in life it means this is the very first stage in your elementary when you learn something new by memorizing by doing what you what the teacher say to you by implementing what the textbook say by doing this you will learn that you will get to the higher level it comes into the junior high school when you can grow grow major major and major again until you become in senior high school when you learn that life doesn't only talk about science doesn't talk only about social even language itself you learn a lot of subjects here like physics also you need to be healthy and in the universe university you will know understand that you need to focus on single single matters in your life from zero to what remember what is your purpose zero to one remember why you start your journey from zero to one you will know understand that will be always a better version of yourself when you start discovering yourself back to you ttm brahma kumar wow that was a good take And for this, I have to call our Navin Ji to evaluate. Itiam Navin, are you there? Okay. Yeah, sorry, I was on a call right now. There, there, there was a call, so I, I really couldn't couldn't listen to the speaker. I oh, just what? got. Was Master yes. Varun? Were you able yeah. to listen to hear Et speech? Was Master Varun? Things are so not there. Okay, I I definitely know those months. The Sonia was listening very attentively because I could see her smiling, trying to say hello to Et and all that. So let's listen to her. Thank you, DTM. Actually, um, 
it is this speech was very very impressive he was taking pauses very nicely and he was expressing the words and the theme with mean behind those words were very meaningful and to the point so zero is like nothing but he has made zero a hero <laughs> in his speech so i will say it was a good speech very good speech so great thank you just some comments uh et by itself zero is nothing you know that right but if you put a zero next to a one it becomes 10 if you put two zeros next to a one it becomes 100 so what does that mean zero are the unsung heroes those who are backstage who bring the others to the glow to the shine so if you are looking at a movie you are looking at the the actors the singers but you don't uh, uh, see the the technicians the cameramen all these are behind the scene so even though they are zero because we don't know who they are they are the ones who bring number 1 number 10 number 100 they are importance so let us about zero right so you can you can finally say i want to be a zero i don't have to be important but if i can make a difference in my child's life make my child a number 10 a number 100 that's great for me so i don't have to be in the limelight and behind the scenes just like sometimes the house wife is like that they do everything for the family but nobody knows that they are the one the backbone of the family the pillar of society and all that that's another way you can take but generally i like the way you approached it you were very calm and calculated very in control and you had a very a smooth flow where the audience could follow you and i thought just when i thought you're not going to summarize you did a summary of what you said by going back to what you actually re said before and by reiterating it so that's good okay. i see raja ganesh looking at someone but i think he is ready now can i say that can you give me uh, 10 minutes okay and there's a vivo 3 x70 i don't know whether that is her her brand name or what <laughs> what's your name those master those master archana yes those master archana can we give you a topic yeah yeah and today's theme is all one letter word all the topics are only one letter word so your topic is f u n fun fun explain fun to all of us fun is something we all want in our life we always love funny people and people who makes us um in a environment of fun so my first experience of my fun um moment when i when, when i was in college because i was really excited to go in, in a college so we had uh, we decided to have a uh, what do you say as a picnic so we had a lot of plannings for that we uh, um booked two buses and during the bus journey one of the bus got punctured and there were all 100 um uh, students in the medical college in my uh, what we'll say as the my semester so all the 50 students who were there in the other bus they came to our bus and we had a fun uh, ride going to the picnic spot reaching the picnic spot when we were there a few people were uh, taking bath under the waterfall and suddenly one just tickled the uh, honeybees and after that we had to run after ourselves our life 
to get away from those honeybees and this is how we had a fun picnic all together um, after that so this is one fun which is uh, um, i relate to and i always um, cherish as my memory so this was not uh, funny that time but after that i am uh, really looking as a fun moment for me and this is one thing we all cherish together whenever we meet and we have a long laugh and um, we laugh out loud about this particular experience of us thank you so much thank you anyone ready to give their feedback on her speech Yeah, I'll do it. I like the way you, you you went straight to the topic, saying that fun has to do with humor, enjoying the moment, and all that. And then you had a, a personal story to share, and you explain how actually some things that happened then. may have been quite cumbersome or troublesome but today when you think about it it is a topic for conversation and you realize actually you had a lot of fun during that time so it's quite a very nicely uh, said thing but there are elements of what is fun one thing you could add more is to say that ask the audience a question what happens when you're having fun and then you can explain you know you are enjoying that moment if you look at every moment in your life the point where you are enjoying that moment is the fun part it's when you are not enjoying moment it's not fun anymore most of us when we are having a wonderful time good times we are enjoying the moment and that's fun but sad times can we also enjoy the moment meaning experience that moment when you're not feeling well and your body is telling you to take a rest that's a time for you to sit back think and tell yourself my body needs to rest i need to let it rest i need to go through this this uh, recovery period and all that so that's something else you could have done although it is not directly related to fun but it is something you can also do to have a different twist to the topic in short very nicely done i hope to hear more from you anyone else who's ready ah uh, toastmaster jayanti you are here sorry uh, toast my forgot about the toastmaster rajaganesh yes And now finally you are ready yes i am finally ready Ask you this question: Which club are you from? I'm from uh, Trailblazers Toastmasters Club from Bangalore. Oh, good, good. Yeah. All right. Let me think of a topic first. All right. Let's talk about a one-word topic: balance. And I would like. Prof. Master Jayati, if you are around to listen and give your comment later. Okay. Thank you, uh, distinguished Prof. Master Brahmakumar, for the topic. Balance. Life. Some people say life is a, a balance, or some people get very happy when the bank balance is good, or somebody. who rides their life on they live their life in a, like a balance it's all about balance when you are having a conversation communication you can go to a different level and like raise your pitch and say unparliamentary words or you can go like so meek and talk so nobody can understand or you just have the right balance 
So always the balance is the one which uh, navigates through life or we can navigate through it. For me, a personal experience is there are moments when I lose my balance in family or sometimes in the work location, I always feel bad, either in an emotion state or when you like you can do something, but you uh, withdraw and you cannot do or like 50% you can go, 50% you can get from someone. These things always, these calculations and we don't know the right balance, what to do. These are the things which always troubles me. And one of the things which I'm keep on learning is how to be a balanced person so that we don't put pressure on anybody around us and also we live very good. And for that, I would say is whenever I talk to my kid or my wife, I always keep a point that I don't cross my limit. I just stay in a balanced way and ask them what they can do or tell them in a way they can understand rather than go and shout at them. This has helped me a lot, putting a balanced perspective, thinking from the other man's perspective also, like why somebody might not be doing it. This helped me a lot and I would encourage everyone to be a balanced person in their life. Thank you, Toastmaster Brahma Kumar. Thank you, Toastmaster Jayati. Could you give an evaluation on his Toastmaster Raja Ganesh speech? Yes, uh, thank you, uh, DTM Brahma Kumar. Uh, Toastmaster Raja Ganesh, you had a lot of takeaways from your speech, uh, which you just said. You First of all, you pointed out three facts. The first one is uh, life is a balance. And you talked about bank balance. That's a different perspective. And then you talked about you uh, can moderate balance in your life. And you gave examples of how you were a few maybe weeks or years ago and how you are now, which is really nice. And uh, you said that emotionally, mentally, you are at peace if you can maintain that balance. And a personal story you said, but uh, that personal story was not very specific, I would say. Uh, if you could have related an incident in the past about how you would have reacted that time and compared it to how you would react now, I think that was the only thing which I thought could have been improved. Otherwise, I really, really liked your speech because personally, I learned a lot about balance. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Toastmaster Jayati. She's also one of those who has won at contest. And I li always like the way she speaks on the table topic or gives an evaluation. Gives a, it's like seeing the sunshine in the morning when you listen to her every time. We have Toastmaster Anshum, are you ready to take a topic? Toastmaster Anshum? Yes, I am. Are you able to turn on your video? Yes. So for your topic, I would like our Indonesian friend E.T. to evaluate later. So he will be listening to your speech. And your topic, today's theme is all one word. So your topic has only one word. And the word is change. Okay. What is change? We wake up in morning and do our all routines and then dress up and then we started our work. We always think, let's have some change in our life that same daily boring routine. So change is required in life, right? And when we get a sudden change in our life, suppose we are today doing a job in corporate work and tomorrow some like some we got a different job. 
so sometimes we feel that earlier job is was quite better than this sometimes we want to have something to change and sometimes we want uh, we want seen things to continue with so what my perspective about the change is it is required and it is required in every constant and little amount we should prepare our mind that everything is not constant what we are speaking today this meeting is not constant might be tomorrow or like uh, after a month we are in the same room and we are cherishing each other we are looking at each other smile face that could be a scenario this of for change what i think we should always think of positive change because if we think that change can bring some positive and some betterment in our life that change can be a best thing in our life so i am not worrying about my future change i am worrying how i am changing myself today only i started my daily journal i am writing noting my every progress so this changes i am note down in my daily life and then i realize on and every what day of my i was counting what i had changed in myself and i am happy that i am changing for better better thing so thank you that's my speech thank you pt had to go somewhere so he couldn't really listen to your speech i think toastmaster sonia can give some comments on mute you are uh thank you t uh, tm brahma kumar and uh, yes tm ansham uh, you have given very beautiful speech like this topic was quite tough like change like we have to think a lot what we have to discuss here about which change i have done in my life so <laughs> but you very nicely cover this topic means you brought very good things what happened in your previous time what is presently going on in your life and what you are thinking in future like you said that uh, uh, maybe the next change is very positive one that we all are not virtually meeting but we are in a one room and we are you know that is a different scenario so very positive future you have shown to us so very nicely you have described the change good thank you tm brahma kumar thank you I like the way Toastmaster Anshum answered the question. She started with change is part of our life. Then she gives examples at work about our virtual meetings, and then later will be physical meetings, and that change is constant. Life is not constant, but change is constant. There's always some change. We need to look at the positive change and ignore the negative change. So in short, you had a very positive message at the end. and you summarized it also quite quite well done i i'm i'm quite uh, happy with the way you you went about it very confident and very uh, clear uh, well paced also thank you both of you if everyone is okay we can end the session now because it's 11:30 it's going to be 12 midnight over here in singapore unless someone really wants to try a topic the only one who hasn't tried is of course those master jayati if it's okay i can try otherwise if it's too late we can try next time no problem i'll Happy give you me, i'll give you one topic just uh, just okay. give me a okay this will be good for you the topic is one word only it's Let me ask ET are you back? It's not back. Okay, no man. So the one word for you is courage. Courage. Speak on courage. It took courage for Thomas Alva Edison to make that bulb. 
it took courage in his thoughts it took courage in his mindset it took courage in the way he looked at life my friends courage is something which goes with your personality and at times you need to show it why not only to defend yourself but for the fact that you may be right you may be good at what you are doing and you have the courage to go on and not listen to the number of people who are trying to put you down it happened with me you know when i wanted to start the organization which i run now host of people told me don't do it don't do it you can't it's a new thing for you and it's absolutely a bad world out there and you having no experience no 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 stay on the safe side don't do it at all but you know what i had the courage and i feel so nice that this courage and fearlessness of mine has placed me right on top of what i am doing right now my organization stands right on top it's the number one organization in my whole district and why is that because i did not fear i had the courage to move on friends don't ever shed that feather of courage which is there on your back it is there like two wings two invisible wings on your back and this is the one which will help you soar high never doubt it never ever doubt it and hang on to your self belief that is what will make you a success over to you topics master thank you to master jayati anyone has comments on her speech <clears throat> can i anshum here it is like uh, i am listening to a podcast and i want to like i want her to continue please don't stop the stop this is in my mind and it is like all modulation what we heard like how to deliver speech it has a rhythm like i love to hear like it is like leading to a flow like what is courage how and then she describe and then she relate with her own example so uh, i really love that speech thank you amrati <laughs> anyone else Thank has convinced to it those must anshum i i would like to say few words on uh please carry on uh, like you said it's like a morning sunshine um, like uh, anshum said that we want to hear like keep hearing out um, and must not to speak and one thing is the courage and the way the structure right we all know our information the way uh, those master jayati has structured is start with some example like okay she is going to talk about uh, amasal medicine then coming back to her uh, like uh, uh, like advice and then going back to personal story and then call for an action or something like it has a perfect structure i think uh, if we achieve that i think we will but we don't need any change was master sonia you got anything to add <laughs> actually tm i also like the uh, the way she was uh, speaking in a very rhythmic way and that is a very good uh, style of speaking and uh, most of the listeners likes to listen to this type of uh, speaking uh, speakers only those who speak very politely and in a very flow so i also agree with anshum that that if we are listening to the speaker so we will not be getting bored and we will be you know we will be so much long time that was good thank you thank you to master sonia to master raja ganesh please share jayati your secret <laughs> nothing i'm just true to myself <laughs> okay atm brahma kumar sir actually i just wanted i am left i have not got any one word topic <laughs> like you all are getting late but but i also want to participate 
I was just evaluating only, and I got one topic from uh, Meghna Ma'am in the beginning only. But that was a very uh, that was a sentence, not a one word topic. So I need one one to one word topic also. Okay, your topic will be, and I request uh, ET. Raja Ganesh and Jayati to be on the lookout because I'm also looking at the okay. timing, so I quite a difficult for me to focus on it uh, as well. So your topic actually is the word loyalty. I'll put it in the chat. So what is loyalty? Have you ever seen a small baby? Whether you will, uh, when that baby is crying, that baby will be loyal to her mother. If any beautiful lady will come, that baby will not go to that lady. If anyone will pamper that baby with anything to eat or something, that baby or any toy, baby will not go to that person. He will only stop crying when his or her real mother will catch. or hold that baby in their warming arms so this is the thing that loyalty a child is very loyal a small baby is always loyal to the mother the real mother who has given birth to that baby though he is very small he is just an infant but he is very much loyal that who has taken that baby for 9 months in their womb so he is very loyal to that mother only next we have seen a yeah loyalty means loyalty means that we have to be you know very much justiceful we have to be very much honest with the person who is providing us the bread and butter if we are in profession we have to see that we have heard in movies that you have eaten my salt <laughs> so like this we have to be very loyal with the person who is who is giving us bread butter who is allowing us to feed our family so loyalty is required by an employee towards his employer equally loyalty is a thing which is inherent and it can be developed also it is inbuilt it can come from the hereditary values like if your family members were very loyal so the child also gets that that quality inbuilt quality in that person otherwise it can be developed also so if we are in a good company of people like right now we are so we we are learning from good environment and how everyone is loyal towards the task so we can also get this this thing in us that we also have to be loyal so loyalty is a an important quality which is searched in the candidate who is coming to join the defense services because defense services is the thing which is uh, very much uh, you know most important thing of any territory so thank you it can be for family defense it can be for country defense anywhere loyalty is the thing which we all have towards our own self also we have to be very much loyal thank you time up actually i exceeded your time by 3 second 7 uh, seconds mr mr jayati do you have any comments to give Mm, yes, D T M Brahma Kumar, Mr. Master Sonia, uh, yes. you had you had a lot of ideas going on in your mind about loyalty and how you express them is something I really liked. It was smooth in the beginning, but later you thought you'd add on something more, and there uh, I think you got a little confused because you had so many things going at one time that you didn't know how to arrange it. Actually, it doesn't matter. You just stick to one point. You talk about loyalty. You talk about yourself. Okay, you talk about yourself. Just how loyalty is to you. What it means to you. Have you ever faced any kind of loyalty issues in your life? has there been an a, uh, an incident which really really brought out the lo uh, loyalty in you or you saw this quality of loyalty in the person sitting opposite you or the person you trusted so much or something like that 
okay just just you know you, you first the the uh, word itself loyalty it, it it's a story by itself hmm. you, you go by that you go by your own experiences you will be able to speak much better because you have a lot of points you are a very intelligent person you have a lot of points you have lots of sentences the only thing is you need to you know structure it okay ek ke baad do do ke baad teen teen ke baad char it comes like that one two three four here it got a little jumbled <laughs> doesn't matter it was uh, overall it was a good speech thank you thank you actually i'm just two weeks uh, young in this club i've i've joined last saturday only uh, this oh, uh, dose club so i that is why i'm very eager to learn so good, i'm learning good. so much you're on the right path you're on the right path just move on <laughs> yes thank you okay you're welcome keep that courage akaran karan to smash on Yeah, I'm saying keep that courage. I have seen her in many meetings, and yeah, she is good. So I'm joining all meetings continuously. Last from last Saturday, I'm going to every meeting to learn. And this was my favorite topic, TT. So when I came to know that here we are, uh, we are, we will be taught for the TT. So I thought this is very important to join. <laughs> so I joined it. Okay, to add on, see when we talk about loyalty, you can give examples that are very, very uh, touches people's heart. For example, think about the time. Okay, I give my personal example from my country when Malaya was divided. In other words, when Singapore were to separate from Malaya, there was this question of where should I be loyal to? Should I be loyal to the place where I was born? So those who are born in Singapore should they be loyal to there, or should I return back to my own country, which is China, India, or even if they are Malay from Malaysia? So this same thing also happened when there was the partition of British Empire into East and West Pakistan and India. So some people they just wanted to be where they are, where they were born. It doesn't matter whether they were from a different religion. I was born in India, so I will stay in India until I die. Similarly, those in Pakistan, I was born in Pakistan. This part that was part of India now, but in Pakistan. So questions of loyalty comes right. So how do we address that? Then loyalty against. Suppose you have a betrayal. Could be a friend who betrayed you, or someone who betrayed your country, or something like that. where does your loyalty comes in that means where does the your value come in is it you are loyal to your country loyal to your friend who who happens to be the wife of this person who betrayed her so these questions arise right so how do we manage that so if you can bring those situations and then you you you, you put yourself inside there and say this is how i look at it my point of view why why i want to be Uh, look at loyalty in this in this way. For example, you can say, "I know my friend very well. She is a wonderful person. When her husband does this to her, when he betrays her, I have to tell her the truth because she is my friend, and it her friendship is very important to me." Okay. So we also have this story in the Mahabharata, right? Where Karna will realize that he is actually one of the Pandavas. His mother is Kundi Devi. but his loyalty when put to the test litmus test he says i will be loyal to duryodhana because when i was down and i was a nobody he gave me that high status of being the king of a kingdom he elevated me and put me on evil position with the pandavas so see again loyalty comes with values right and i shall be with duryodhana till the end till he or i die so again is it uh, the loyalty comes in right so we when we bring these examples and explain the concept of loyalty it becomes very powerful it's not a how should i say it's not like a black and white kind of a situation it there are also some gray areas and how we manage that gray area 
Mm. Ultimately, it's about can I go to sleep with this thing in my mind? If you can't, then you have to make a decision. We can't be sitting on a fence, mm. right? So, mm. so you can say loyalty is like that. It's you have to make the decision. Either you're loyal or not loyal to a friend, to a country, to a culture, and so on. So that will make your speech even more powerful. <laughs> But overall, Toastmaster Sonia, you have a lot of potential. I can see a champion in the making in you. Because if, in, within two weeks, if you can speak so well, you can speak even better if you have a clear structure. We add in some of the qualities of the other speakers you've heard today. Mm-hmm. You will, you will shine. So do come regularly to our session. We try to have it every Friday. Sometimes we really can't, but it's okay. As long as we can come once in a while and we get learn something here, like you can see, today is a very friendly environment. We are here to help one another. Yeah, and even sometimes the other uh, classmates will give me a topic and let me try it out. It's also fine, right? So yeah. we'll see y'all again next week Thank if you. possible. But as far as possible, we'll we'll try to keep the momentum. It also needs commitment from everyone to come on time and contribute as an evaluator or as a speaker or even a timer or even if you come and say, okay, this time I'll give all the topics. That's also fine. All right. So this whole thing has been recorded and will be put. and we'll upload to my youtube channel only the first few moments we lost a bit of a uh, connectivity and couldn't listen but just just fast forward and listen it's always good to listen again and again to table topic sessions by others because it will give you new ideas at some of these sessions we have sharing like today megna shared something some other time another person will share and you if you have something to share also by all means come forward to share we are here to learn and this is a lifelong learning environment thank you i shall end the recording now